let's look at some of the big data applications okay so this will allow us to un- put our minds to what is it that we can use big data for it's not as if analytics was never around and big data is the only great thing since sliced bread there were always you know even analytics is itself as a subject you could do segmentation of your customers you could predict how customers are going to behave you know telecom companies since the early 90s have been looking at what is churn rate what is the prediction when are people going to churn out of one provider maybe move to another provider and that's how they are able to price their uh, products sentiment analysis when you tweet about a product you might say that samsung m20 great battery power there was a great uh, you know brand uh, promotion now the number of people that are talking about the samsung mobile m20 or m21 what are, are they saying about it good or bad Our, uh, that's a sentiment analysis now they're saying this on twitter they're saying this on various other uh, platforms so it's important to do an analysis and that's a big data application recommendation engines you know very often if you're on netflix you will get uh, you know if you're watching a particular kind of movie there will be targeted marketing for you there will be targeted marketing of that particular product for you that particular uh, movie to watch or the serial to watch what what they're doing is based on your viewing based on what you're watching netflix is capturing that information processing it and saying all right if you are if you know some uh, you're watching this kind of a movie you're 20 years old or you're 22 years old they live uh, residing in india this is what you're watching if you're watching let's say some sports they'll definitely give you some sports if you're watching uh, romance they'll give you romance so that's a recommendation engine and that's how it uh, you know organizations leverage that operational analyt- analytics great of course analytics on what how are people doing where are they doing we talked about some of the operational analytics about how the you know the municipal corporation is using data about uh, where you are who has got covid to be able to give you uh, services and of course big data can be used for social good as well some other applications is you know uh, in in banking you can track the spending that your uh, customers are doing how much are they spending on uh, emi if you have taken a loan to buy a bike what are people spending on on repayment of loans how much are they spending on big basket or how much are they spending on credit cards to track customer spending segment customer based on their profiles and then you can uh, also make product personalized product offerings so if i i have a loan for a bike with me then you know after a couple of years when the when you know that the emi is going down you've almost done 30 emis then the bank can offer a higher grade a car so you product offerings or if you know if they know that you've just got married uh, they can offer you a home loan so that's how you start using uh, big data uh, in in banking when you start personalizing products and start selling retention strategy becomes much higher telecom companies use big data uh, for network optimization to improve customer experience uh, and also for fraud detection and you know uh, network optimization is pretty clear uh, based on their towers based on the thing looking at how many people are coming in if there is a um, a jam then they start looking at what can, can they need do they need to put more towers or they need to put better uh, connectivity in those places so telecom companies use uh, big data uh, in a very efficient manner they use chatbots these days you will find chatbots almost if you go to any site you might just be browsing and there'll be a pop up of a chat box which is can i help you based on your browsing experience it collects information on what you are what looking for and pops it back to you so if you're on flipkart or mintra if you're gone to any of these sites it's based on your browsing experience the next time you go uh, it will sh- pop up those information for you and of course we talked about fraud detection for telecom companies entertainment netflix is a great example uh, many others you know including uh, google you know google uh, is not into entertainment yet but based on your likes tailoring advertisements and content to appeal to you is what big data allows them to do google is one of the best examples of how big data is used simply that the moment you type in something it shows up information it's a combination of big data and artificial intelligence which keeps throwing up information to you on all right this is what you're likely to ask for this is what you're quite likely to search for so what happens is companies like netflix and even for that matter prime amazon based on the viewing experience of billions of individuals 
they can predict what the audience wants because that they, they have information and they're capturing it live and then they are doing an analytics at the back and they're trying to tell you what is it that the customer wants and if something is not being seen that often they just pull it off and say oh that is not going to be available from the 30 of april onwards now in healthcare uh, you can improve your personalized care it allows you to maintain your online health records understand the customers uh, and the patients analyze trends create preventive strategies and improve your personal care healthcare is another major user and uh, you know uses big data in a big in a big way and you know we spoke about how it can be used uh, by a municipal corporation to support in a pandemic environment etc or even in you know an ongoing impact now here are some examples from across various different industries in retail in finance web and digital telecom health life sciences e-commerce all these guys e-commerce com- companies they have your browsing in- in- information they have recommendation in- engines they can offer you uh, an offer you know we see, you've seen how mintra and flipkart etc use that information all right uh, how do you create a big data application to create a big data application you first of all need a lot of data so you know a data warehouse is used to store the data a data warehouse is a really very large database now people also use data lakes uh, as another way of storing data where you just go and put in the information structured data unstructured data xmls um, whatever what have you you secure the data and then use start mining the data mining data means making sure that the data is, is you start looking at the, what is making sense you start looking at um, you know first of all is the data correct and then start looking for what is the value what value this is data is this what can i use this data for analyze the data and then you report so this are these are some of the steps in what you see from here putting the data into a storehouse securing the data mining it for value analyzing the data and then reporting is these are some of the steps involved in creating data warehouse and then the analytics is what where big data and analytics come in